All right, I think we've got two lambs here this morning. My two lambs. Y'all come down here. Merry Christmas. <coughs> My favorite lamb. Sometimes we have uh, eight or ten. You can always tell who has children's shirts when we have eight or ten. They begin to look a little worried, a little frazzled. They kind of like, oh, oh no. See if they can make it. They always do. Always do. Good, good crew we got. I have some silver dollars. I have some silver dollars in my hand. I have several. I'm going to tell you exactly how many this week. I want you to make sure that you realize that my fingers never leave my hands, okay? There's nothing on my sleeve but my arms. That's my Ed Norton move. There's a question that people have probably already, they've already been asking you. And, uh, and, and as we get closer and closer to Christmas, they're going to, more and more people, when they see you, total strangers sometimes. People in your family, people know your friends, but then people who don't even know who you are, they'll see you somewhere and they'll say, they'll ask you this question. What are you getting for Christmas? Has anybody asked you that yet? What do you want for Christmas? And then they'll say, uh, What's Santa Claus bringing you? But you know, I've got here, look here, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, silver dollars. These are dollars like a green dollar, like you see, but they're made of silver. One, two, three, four. What are you getting for Christmas? You know, I don't know if and I enjoy getting presents. And I love for people to give me things. I think everybody does. But you know, in, uh, in the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 35, the apostle Paul quoted Jesus as having said this, it's more blessed to give than to receive. And it may be hard for you to understand. You may not even believe that. But when someone gives you a present at Christmas time, Jesus would say that person had more fun giving you that gift than you had opening it and getting it. I'm going to do this. It's one, a two, three, and I'm going to put one, I'm going to give one away. You don't have a job right now, and you may not even have an allowance. You may not know what allowance is, and maybe I shouldn't even have said that word. <laughs> because you might need to find out what an allowance is. <laughs> ask mommy and dad when you get home. What's an allowance? Okay. Maybe even ask them daddy and aunt Liz. They might know what an allowance is. Don't ask me and Pops though, because they have no idea. See, that's an awful big word. Yeah. One day you will be able to give Christmas presents to other people. You may have, your mom or your dad or someone else may have already made it possible for you to have something so you can give it away. Like silver dollars, see? One, two, three, four. One, there's one, two, three, four. Are you keeping up with this math? There's one, <laughs> two, three, let's give one away. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 9, Paul says this to the Christians. He says, you know why God wants to give you things? So that you can have what you need, but then have more than you need so that you can give to other people. God wants to give to you so that you can give to others. You know why God likes to give so much? You know, in James chapter 1, James called God the giving God. He says, the giving God, the God who gives this see, look. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Are you keeping up with this? Avery, you're not even paying attention. One, you're not even amazed. Your, your mouth is not open. At least Addison's smiling. One, there's one, two, three, four. God wants to give to you because he has fun giving. Let's see, one, two, Three, and let's give one away. Because if you're a giving person, God says, hey, 
They're a giving person. You want to give them some more, so they'll give some more. You know what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's one. <laughs> three, let's give one more away. I hope that one day, as you grow up, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. I hope that if you ever have a chance to have things, and maybe you have something in your pocket, or maybe you have something in your backpack, or something in your home, if God blesses you, you'll have things. Food to eat, clothing to wear, those, those kind of things. But I mean, other things like toys and books and music and, I don't know, just so many different things we might have. Things are not all that important, but God says He wants you to have things. You see, when we celebrate Christmas because Jesus is God's gift to us, and when we celebrate Christmas, it's Jesus' birthday. I like that song that Brother Bo sang to us last Sunday. He says it's, it's His birthday, but we get the gift. It's Jesus' birthday, we get the gift. Now, when you have a birthday, you want to get the gift, don't you? Well, so do I. But I hope that you, as you grow older, that you enjoy being a generous person. You know why? Because God is generous. For God so loved the world that he gave us his son. It's the greatest gift of all. And if you'll be a generous person, some people just, just hug it up close and want to keep it. Don't want to share it. Don't want to lose it. And God says, well, I'm not going to give them anymore because they still have what I gave them. Give it away. Be, be a generous person. Look at other people. If there's something you have and they need it, <laughs> think about being a giver because God is a giver. All right? Think about that. How many do I have now? One, two, three, four. Let's give it all away. Okay? Just like that. All right. Thank you very much. You can go back and sit with your mother, go to children's church with your mom. Thank you, mom.